All right, welcome back to Sports Extra, everybody. Alongside of me, our Braves insider, Grant McCauley, for our favorite segment here on the show as we enter the 2024 campaign for the Atlanta Braves. Here we are. Grant's Game Changers. Grant, you've got four guys that you think can really make a big impact this upcoming season. Who do you got first? I do, and it shouldn't really be surprising that a big acquisition would be the first of the Game Changers, and that is Chris Sale. We all knew the Braves needed another starting pitcher. The Braves knew they needed another starting pitcher. They wanted somebody who could really bolster this rotation. How about somebody with six top five finishes in the Cy Young Award, a couple of strikeout titles himself, a World Series championship under his belt. That sounds like the resume of the kind of guy you want to add. But health was the big thing for Chris Sale. 20 starts, 100-plus innings last year for the first time since 2019. Those, no small indicators of what the Braves need from him in terms of at least going to the post, giving him that chance, and then letting that rebuilt bullpen do the work behind him. But Chris Sale, my first game changer, and I think perhaps maybe the one that might not be the biggest name on this list, might be the oldest one on this list, but could end up being the most important because they need that stability in the rotation. Really quick, I want to ask you about his intensity. Is that something that actually <laughs> adds to it as well? Yeah, no, it does. I mean, when you have a competitive nature, the, Bra the way that the Braves do as a club, a competitive clubhouse, and the expectations of winning, why not bring in somebody who knows all about, A, the expectations, and B, winning the whole thing? Chris Sale checks those boxes as well. All right, your second game changer is a guy who plays center field and uh, rookie of the year. Yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah, it shouldn't really surprise folks to see this guy on the list either since we talked about him earlier, and I think he could have a breakout season. And again, that might sound crazy because Michael Harris has already done so much in his first couple of years. I think that gold glove is in his future, maybe as soon as this year. But the speed, the power, the on-base ability of Michael Harris continues to trend in the right direction. I think we could see him rising in the batting order as high as second some this year, and that would make Michael Harris an even more dynamic piece of the Braves offense because he's been kind of hiding down there in that ninth spot. Well, now it's time, I think, to feature this gentleman. A guy that's a really big feature on this team who hasn't been hiding for years now, came number two in that Rookie of the Year vote, Spencer Schreider. Yeah. Why is he a game changer? Well, as we've seen Spencer Strider's spring, it could let you know that opposing hitters are not going to have a whole lot of fun facing a guy who somehow figured out a way to go out and get better, find another pitch at wow, that yeah. with the curveball, to go along with the fastball slider combo. Flirted with 300 strikeouts last year. I think he can do that this year. If he does that, I think he's a slam dunk Cy Young Award winner, pending what other guys do, I guess. But Spencer Strider, he just finds a way to get better. And the Braves are giving him the ball on opening day to get things started. And again, you talked about the competitor Chris Sale is. I don't know that there's a bigger competitor among the young Braves, this core, than Spencer Strider. you got to talk about guys that have gotten better. And it's incredible that we can still say this about mm -hmm. this last person you have in your game changers. Ronald Acuna Jr., unbelievable. I don't know what words you can use to describe it, but that's what we're going to be here and try to do. But the statistics that this guy is capable of putting up are statistics that were re normally video game worthy, or that's where you were going to find them. 40-plus homers, 70-plus steals. He also led Major League Baseball in hits and runs scored. His OPS over 1,000, led Major League Baseball in total bases. This is the complete package, and he's entering the prime of his career. So if you liked what you saw in 2023, then I would tell you, as Vin Scully used to say, go ahead and pull up a chair because Ronald Acuna Jr. could put on another show that only he can put on here in 2024. Short answer here, where can he even improve if it's possible? It's just staying the same. It's staying healthy. It's being the consistent superstar that he has shown us over the first few years of his career because he's got a lot of miles ahead of him, I think, and the best could be yet to come. And back-to-back -back MVP, is that really on the table for him? Absolutely on the table. I think he's the best player in baseball. That's the kind of player that is going to get that kind of hype and that kind of expectation every spring or all winter long heading into the spring, all summer long, all fall. We'll see what Ronald Acuna Jr. has in store. Man, your game changers are going to be great this year. This I team so. is fantastic <laughs> and they're going to try and get another World Series title this upcoming year in 2024. Grant, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Coming up, we wrap things up with our video of the week featuring a different style of baseball to say the least. You won't want to miss it.